But I always tell people the secret to writing is what they say, what do you think about? Don't think. Just let it come through. <laughs> I didn't realize it at the time, but it was the greatest form of therapy I ever had in my whole life. Because things that I was feeling uh, could actually be expressed in lyrics. I didn't know I was a lyricist back then. I was just kind of discovering the whole process. That's why I'm easy. You know, with the Commodores late at night in the studio, they just presented us with a, a tour schedule of a 366-page book with 365 pages of exactly where we'll be for the next year. And I wrote a little note down saying, why would anybody put chains on me? I paid my dues to make it. Everybody wants me to be what they want me to be. I'm not happy when I try to, when I fake it. Leave me alone. So, you know, you just walk in the door and just hit those. Forget about it. After that, the story is told. I think that was the first song that actually gave me an opportunity to realize that I could write a song and people would walk up to you and go, I feel the same way. Perfect. Of all the songs that I thought was going to be, oh my God, this is not going to work, was Brick House. I don't know what was wrong with me, but you know, all I kept thinking about, I think it was just the fear factor of, I have to play this song for my grandmother. The song came out and she didn't go to church for about two or three weeks because it was just absolutely disgusting. You know what I'm saying? And then of course, as the song became a hit, she kind of got over it because the check came in and everybody's happy. You once, twice, three times a day. I tried to write the funky song. It came out three times a lady. People say to me, you left the conversation with your parents and then you went over and wrote the song. No. I heard what my dad said and I walked away from the table and I said, that's a great thing he just said, but it has to go here into the universe and it comes back around. And when you're not thinking about it at all, it comes out. It, it happens when you just let go and let it happen. And of course, Three Times a Lady was just as far left as I could possibly imagine something would come through. But once it comes through, my biggest problem is now that I have it, I'm afraid of it. So Three Times a Lady, you have to understand, in the middle of funk, here's a waltz. What am I going to do with a waltz? Eddie Levert was the one who said to me, you know, you still have time to take it back and put another one out. You know, and at that particular time, it went straight to number one, you know, because it was, it was so disruptive and so left of center that, you know, it was James Carmichael, the producer of the Commodores, who actually said, that's the one we want. We're going to party, caramba, fiesta, forever. Come on and sing along. Now I have this song. Well, my friends, the time has come to raise the roof and have some, that's great. Uh, Karamu, fiesta, forever. Come on and sing along. Ah, da, da, da. Come on and sing along. Da, 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 da. Come on and sing. I don't have a hook. And so I, it took me probably another month of just walking around my house and everywhere trying to find out what is the hook to come on and sing along. I've got to give you the sing along. So I went to one of my dear friend's houses, uh, Dr. Lloyd Gregg, and I went by for dinner. He's from Jamaica. And I'm leaving it now. It's, I took a break from the studio. It's, I'm leaving his house now about two o'clock in the morning. And as I'm leaving the house, I'm saying to him, hey man, I got to go back and work all night long, man, all night long. All night long, all night long, all night long. Got it. All night long, all night, all night long. A, 
uh, military commander in the field came to me and I'm flying back from London. He said, you know the story. Now I knew the first half of the story. The story was that the people in Iraq wanted to welcome the troops in and they wanted them to know that they were welcoming them and it's friendly. Every shop owner, every store, everything played all night long on the speakers as they were coming in. Here's the other half of that story. The commander came to me and said, do you know what happened with when we were coming into the city? I said, no, we wanted to tell them that we were friendly. So they played dancing on the ceiling on top of the Humvees coming into the city. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. He said, no, just do. we played dancing on the ceiling and they were playing all night long. That's a true story. We knew and enjoyed his song all night long and it kind of happened to fit our mission. I guess you could say the rest is history now. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your This is what I had. This is what I had, guys. It's just, hello, is it me you're looking for? That's it. Carmichael, he walks in. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Okay. All he had to do was say, yes, and continue on. He said, finish that song. Finish what song? He said, well, you gotta finish the song. I said, hello, is it me you're looking for? Now, I, I got in the way with Ceylon and Three Times a Lady, and I'm thinking now by that time, they've got me paranoid of hokey. I'm thinking, hello, is it me you're looking for? They'll throw me out of the business if I try to do this. And of course, I'm now writing the song to finish it, to make him happy, but I'm not thrilled about it until I write the lyrics. Now the lyrics, the story fits perfectly with the chord, it'll change, but it's now in lush form. We have more strings and more orchestra on top of this. I spent the entire music video trying to explain to Bob Giraldi one thing. First of all, his story was that the video is going to be shot with all these two people hugging and kissing through the whole movie. It's going to be great. He walks in and says, I'm going to make the girl blind. You're going to do what? I'm going to make the girl blind. Okay. Because I wanted Bob Giraldi, he is the ticket in terms of videos back in that time. If you want Bob Giraldi to do it, let him have his way. So we're now doing, she's going to be blind. And now I get to the set and the whole thing is built on the fact that she's now doing the, the bus. And I walk in and as soon as I see the bus, I'm going, oh my God, we got a problem. The bus does not look like me. So I'm now talking to Bob and we're doing setup number one. Bob, excuse me, I just saw the bus. It doesn't look like me. I, I know. Second setup. Bob, before we get started, have you seen the bus? It doesn't look like me. Third, fourth setup. I'm, I'm now panicking because the last setup is that scene. So I go, Bob, doesn't look like me. Now it's time to do it. So now I'm looking at it. I'm standing next to him and said, Bob, doesn't look like me. He looked at me and said, she's blind. And I said, oh yeah. <laughs> That's the story. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. There's a time in your, I guess, in your creative discovery where you have to ask the question, where is this coming from? Marvin Gaye, who was one of my instructors at the University of Motown, you know, just said, you can find out if you want to, but my suggestion is may you never know where it comes from. And he said, just let it go and keep receiving. If you get into the deepness of it, it'll nut you out. You just have to think for a moment, keep moving forward, write as fast as you can, get it, get it from that side to this side. And then as time went on, one song to the next song, you start going, oh, okay, I got this. So as I got more and more comfortable, I, I could go to the other side without trying to go to the other side. And you know, now I, the problem is, you want to stay over there more than you want to stay over here. <laughs> and that's the creative process, you know, when you can just shut everything off on this side, because this is the now, this is what's happening. But to go over there and trust that you're, you pick your songs, pick your notes, pick everything you need, and come back over here and put it down.